Can you hear that noise behind me? Me neither. Normally we get the dulcet tones of the inverter. At present it is doing fuck all. <laughs> I will tell you why. Uh, it has gone kaput. We've not had it installed for two years. It's 31st of November will be two years that it's been installed. It's not even been installed for two years and it's gone tits up. Buggery bollocks. Um, yeah, so what was happening when the inverter goes to charge the grid, when the batteries get to 20% and there's not enough sun to put any charge in the batteries, it then charges from the grid and it kept tripping the main power on the house or the one of the disjunctors up at the top there. So, oh bloody hell, what's going on here? So I shut everything down on the solar system, shut the inverter down, shut the batteries down, gave it a few minutes, fired everything all back up again, and it carried on working as it should. And it carried, it did that for a good couple of weeks. Um, then it did it again. Oh, for God's sake. So I wasn't sure if it was our house electrics or something on the solar side of things because when I reset the inverter and everything and then get it all fired back up again it would do you know as it should do anyway the other night it was absolutely pissing down rain and the hobbit said that it was getting really windy so she said um, do you think we ought to just charge force the batteries to charge up because if we have a power cut a lot of trees went down that night and over power lines do you think it's a good idea to get the batteries charged up? So, yeah, came through, went to force the batteries to charge off the grid, trip the power. Reset it, trip the power. Reset it again, trip the power. Oh, for God's sake. Anyway, shut everything down again. Um, went to fire up the inverter and it would sort of initialise, but it wouldn't get to the, it wouldn't go through the startup procedure. Of course, red LED comes on. First code was 04. Now, according to the manual, 04 is low battery voltage, which was utter rubbish because the batteries were nearly at 60%. There was plenty of voltage there. That wasn't the issue. But then the inverter, the, the, the fault code then changed to 08. 08 in the fault code section of the manual is bus voltage too high. Now bus voltage is obviously something inside the inverter. In the back of it it's got troubleshooting. So I looked in there, down on the side it says buzzer going all the time. I've got the buzzer switched off because I can't be doing that rail going off every time there's something happens. So the buzzer switched off. It says buzzer on, LED on solid and a code. So looking down the list, the code for 08, 09, 51 and 57, I believe it was, internal failure. <laughs> At the end, what to do, return to repair center. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> So yes, at half past 11 that night, it wasn't last night, it was the night before, uh, we was rewiring the house, get the house back onto EDF. So our lovely solar system, which has been saving us a lot of money up until now, is now sat here doing nothing. Batteries are shut down, solar panels are out there in the rain, doing nothing, and the inverter won't even fire up. So I'm not going to slate Grow What or Allo Solar yet. I shall give them a chance. Uh, I have emailed them. I emailed them yesterday, but I've had no reply as of yet. So it's Monday afternoon. Um, now we've got Grow What service centres in Netherlands, Germany, and Spain. Now I think the one that serves France is Germany because that's the one I've been dealing with so far. I sent them the email. Allo Solar, I've sent them an email. They're the company where we bought all the solar gear from. Now when I bought it, it said there was a two year guarantee from the shop, which has expired because we actually bought this in August 21. 
even though we didn't install it until November 21. So that's already expired, but it's got a manufacturer's guarantee of 10 years. So fingers crossed, what either one of them, whether it's going to go back to Allo Solar and then they send it off to Grow What, or if I have to get Grow What to deal with it directly. So the jury is out at the moment. I shall keep you updated to let you know how we get on. Um, it wants sorting out as soon as possible because we want to get back up and running again. We don't want to be paying EDF shitload of money, do we? So, and so far the Grow What inverter had been pretty pretty good. I haven't seen many reports on YouTube of the inverters going bad, but I did watch a video earlier where one bloke he was having quite a lot of problems with his. He I think he had five inverters uh, all paralleled up together, so he must obviously use a lot of power. Three of them, the screens had stopped working. One got sent back because it blew up. I thought, oh, is it really a good inverter to have? So it's one of them things, you buy cheap, you buy twice. But it's got a 10 year guarantee, so hopefully, you know, they'll sort it out. I will keep you posted. Uh, if they don't and start giving us the runaround, we will be doing more videos explaining how Grow What have treated us. But so far, We'll keep our fingers crossed and we get a resolution sorted out soon. So I thought I'd just give you an update. I have got the solar stats to do for October. It's not a great month, October. It you know if you've anywhere if your weather has been anything like us, it has been wet. So bloody wet, it's been unbelievable. Anyway, short and sweet video. Inverter's blown up. It's not making any bloody noise. It's all shut down, switched off. <sighs> Trouble is you could spend thousands on an inverter and it could do the same. Because they're probably all made with the same Chinese components. So what do you do? So, do you just buy a cheap one and have to replace it every few years? Or do you just buy a really expensive one and hope that it lasts forever? Nothing lasts forever nowadays, does it? But there you go. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments section below. <laughs> right, that's it for this video. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.